Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Wadza Nai Mercy and this is Inside Out. So a couple of weeks ago, I started a new series on my channel called My Walk With God. And it is basically a series where I get a bunch of different people who I know have inspired me with my walk with God, either directly or indirectly, to come and talk about what it is like um, walking with God and what their journey with God has been like. Each person who features on this series answers a series of the same 10 questions, well, the same nine questions and then the 10th question is always a pop question um, which is different for each person which has to do with like something controversial about Christianity and faith so today's special guest is my really good friend Adam Neil Molai he means the world to me he has inspired me so much with my work with God and helped me so much with my work with God and so I just had to have him here um, to Neil thank you so much for featuring on my channel um, you guys will definitely see him a lot more often later on in the year once this lockdown is over um, but thank you so much for featuring on my channel I love you so much and I appreciate your friendship so without further ado let's get into the video my name is Adam Malai and I'm 20 years old and I learn in the UK so I was raised in a predominantly Christian household so I think through my grandmother my mother um, that's how I was introduced to God so I just grew up in the church like from birth I think I was going to church since I was allowed to and yeah I've just been there since I think for me it's always been a personal thing um, once again I think since junior school I've been close to Christ and saying my own prayers and fasting by choice so I think it's always been a thing I don't think there was a certain event or something like that it was just I just had always a special relationship with Christ um, the way it's progressed for me definitely is um, it's been I have growth spurts and then I have like stagnant phases with my Christianity. So I've got times where I'm growing and I'm loving God, and I have times when I'm bored. <laughs> I know I don't feel like growing. Um, I feel like doing my own thing, living my own life. I actually come back, so it's like a growing phase and a stagnant phase, and it's always been like that throughout my life. So I'm trying to make it more constant, like constant growth, and not just like a lot of growth for like three months and then. I'm back, what's called back lagging? I don't know what that word is. But I'm going back for like a few months and then, but that's been my walk with Christ. But it's definitely been more growth than going backwards, I think. Um, how do you two of you talk? <laughs> okay, um, so me has definitely been Bible reading, praying, and um, the Bible app. I like using the, so it depends what I'm going through in life and I don't know particular Bible verses and scriptures and I use like the Bible app and I type in the problem I'm going through right now and I go through like the devotional thing. Um, that's how I speak to God. I think that's how he speaks to me as well through the devotionals and that's how I, but I communicate with him through um, praying and Bible reading but he talks to me through devotionals at most. I think that's what gets to me the most. So devotionals are A1 if you're struggling with anything. Um, with me, my Christian principles are um, tithing. So the thing about tithing is there's been a lot of scandals with tithing and people getting rich off church. So the 10% that I do, um, I usually give it to charity. I don't give it to the church anymore. I don't know, you make you know, do with that information what you want to do with it. But yeah, my 10% of my salary, if I'm working or whatever, I build it up and I give it to charity. Um, but I'm giving it to God through that way. So I prayed about it and I think that was that's what worked for me. So tithing for me is giving 10% of your earnings that you, you know, that you make. And for me, it's more about giving back to God what he gave you. So it's like saying, thank you, Lord, for giving me this job, this income, whatever, whatever, I make 10%, I give it back to you. And like I said, for me, I give it to charity and I've got my own foundation and foundation. So we do a lot of work there. So it just builds up in that fund of what I want to do. So it depends what mission I want to accomplish that year. So 2019 was um, street kids and I used to feed them and clothe them and ETC. So I, every month I got paid and 10% of my salary, I will not disclose. Of that, I would give to street kids and sometimes it would be feeding, sometimes it would be clothing. It would be different things. So each year has a different mission and 10% of my salary for that year will be going towards that mission. So, and um, fasting, 
I like eating a lot. I don't fasting for me is something that I know is a good thing to do, but I'm not too consistent with that. Um, but daily prayer with God was the verse. Um, be cons do not cease in prayer. Um, for me, that's a big thing for me. I'm always praying when I drive, when I wake up, when I sleep, whatever I'm doing, I'm constantly praying. So it's definitely the tithing thing and staying in prayer. Yeah. So in a year, can mm. you go a year without fasting? No, or? no, no, no. Like in a year, how often would you fast? Okay. Yeah. So in a year, how often would I fast? I would say, usually, usually at the beginning of the year I fast. And then, let's say I'm going through something, I need to grow, so I'm like suffering with a certain temptation. And I'm like, no, I need to grow. I need to overcome this temptation, I usually fast. So saying how many times it is, well, I think maybe mag minimum, I fast two, three times a year, which is low, I know it's terrible, but yeah, that's the number. It's terrible. <laughs> I usually break at three because I get in God. I tried to do the 66 thing, but my tummy wasn't. It wasn't. Because <laughs> I go to gym. I go to gym. So when I go to gym, I was worn out. So I, I couldn't do 66. So I usually do six to three. And I eat before I go to gym. And then I go in gym. Um, and I usually did for one of this, this year. I did one for one week. It was actually like um, three months ago. Um, I was struggling with something, so I needed to fast. I did it for one week, and it was the six to three one, and that's what works for me. With God, right now, I would say six. I'm not gonna lie. Let's cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's a six at the moment, but yo, I'm trying to build it up and. I've put in like some things in place in my life to stop me from wanting the worldly things and so on. So I know I'm definitely building and I'm, I'm doing this thing called Thirsty 30. So 10 minutes of praise, 10 minutes of prayer and 10 minutes of Bible reading. So that's what's helping me right now. <laughs> um, when you are at a low with God, how do you get back into consistency? What are some of the things that you do? Because everyone struggles with consistency. Mm -hmm. So what, what do you do to help yourself? Um, for me, it's definitely I cut down on the worldly music. So I've, I've stopped, like, I'm trying to stop, like, hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've deleted it from my phone. So I mostly listen to, like, R&B and pop and gospel. So what things that pull me away from God mostly, I think it's definitely the music and women. Guys, women. <laughs> women. <laughs> women. <laughs> ah, yay, babies. Yay, babies, get you far from God, and so... <laughs> So the music and women, gents, gents, we gotta, we gotta tighten up on that, you know what I'm saying? Um, so music, I used to love hip hop and ETC and that just wasn't right for my soul. So I spent all day listening to hip hop and none of it would be like Christian music. So I knew I needed to cut down on that. And then in terms of women, I just don't even play with them anymore. Like when I go out, I'm just, I'm chilling with the boys and I think that's the right thing to do for me right now. So when it comes to consistency, it's definitely cutting women out and music out and then I focus. Three things I love about God for me is definitely grace, His love and His mercy. Like, there's so many things I have in life that I do not deserve, and there's so many times I'm like, yo, God, why are you being so good to me when I've been, I've been being ox, I've been ox. So His grace is just too much for me. Like, I'm always questioning it, like, God, how and why am I having such good things happening in life when I haven't been the best to you? And love, like, He loves me despite, you know, I, no matter what, no matter how much I sin, how much I um, backslide and so forth. And mercy, dude, he's always really there to forgive me and it's great, it's a great relationship. It's, it's very much one-sided sometimes, but he's always great to me. So yeah, grace, mercy and love. Challenges I face with God, um, once again, women. <laughs> I want this bad. It's like, I, I wouldn't say like oh, I'm not. I'm, I'm not saying I'm a slut. No, I'm not saying I'm constantly. Mean, I'm not saying that. I have been <laughs> in the past, but no, I'm not that bad. It's just like the temptation. Oh no, like you wanna be feeling your yay be and you wanna be da 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 da, and that's the one. And so that's the trouble I face. It's just like um, definitely that. And how I deal with it myself is I just totally cut out like um, like when I'm out with my boys, I don't entertain females, I'm just friendly and I just keep my life moving 
I don't try to do too much, so I'm just chilling and that's what I do and helping each other out, it's definitely my boys understand so we speak about it and we, you know, we talk about how we can improve ourselves and then we just act on it so we go out, we're chilling, it's just us, we've just been doing boys days with the females, we're just chilling, we're not trying to mac, we're not trying to, you know, do other things, it's just chilled vibes, you know what I'm saying, so we just make it chilled, that's how we, that's how we, we overcome it, so yeah. Okay. Do you have boundaries with girls, friends that are girls? Um, and what are your thoughts on purity? Okay, boundaries. Huh? I think boundaries all depends on. I think like my friends that are girls, like they'll never act on it. Like they'll never try mac on me. So it's it's all on me, and I don't try mac on them. So there's there's nothing goes on there. Like with my female friends, like there's nothing. It's all chilled vibes. There's nothing at all. Um, and purity. Um, I mean, there's nothing much to think about. I don't know what the Bible says, um, we remain pure until marriage. I don't want to speak about this though. <laughs> this is a tough topic. <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, don't be too hard on yourself. That's what I've learned. Just don't be too hard. You know, you backslide, you get tired, and just don't be too hard. Like, just keep on moving. Just, um, God is merciful, so, and His grace. He's got grace, so whenever you make a mistake, just apologize and keep on moving. Literally, that's what I do. I'm like, sorry, Lord. This sucks, but don't stay down because you made a mistake. You just gotta keep it moving and keep faith. That's it. Just when you backslide, keep on going. Don't be too hard. Yeah. Do you want me to change it? No, let's go. Okay. Um, my thoughts on Christians and tattoos. I've got two tattoos. I'm about to get a third one. Um, just putting it out there. I've got one here. Can you see it? African one here and I got one on my chest. Um it's definitely something I looked in. This this is not this, this, this. I don't know if people are gonna think about this. Everyone's got their own thoughts, so I don't care. I'm not gonna look in the comment section. I do not care what you guys think because I know what I think. I'm just saying it now. Okay, so with with um with tattoos, I definitely did a lot of research into it. I was it's something that was um I didn't know much about and you hear in the church saying some churches say no, it's not okay, some say yeah, it's okay. So I did my own research into it and I sat down with my chaplain back in high school and we looked through, I think it's Leviticus, which has things about the tattoos, not shaving your beard and so, so forth, so on. And um, I really looked, I really looked at that and we looked at some of the things that happened there and I came to a conclusion that I can get a tattoo. And if you come to a different conclusion, that's with you. But what I saw in Leviticus and what I see that a lot of people skip skim over besides the tattoos you know we trim our beards we do a lot of the stuff that we claim shouldn't be we shouldn't be doing from leviticus so i did my own research into that in depth and i came to the decision that i can get mine as long as it's of course not overboard not satanic symbols on my body and etc so that's with me and tattoos i've got two and because i think it's okay and yeah mm -hmm. that's on you to, 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 to yeah. <laughs> this far into the video thank you so much for watching till the end i really appreciate you guys and i sincerely hope that you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video then please do give it a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section about anything that you learned or anything that you don't agree with or i don't know um just leave a comment in the comment section don't forget to subscribe i really hope that you guys were able to pick up one or two things um that you can adopt into your relationship with god because essentially that's what this whole series is about um, so yeah guys, I will see you guys next time. Take care. Mwah.